The past few months have been kind of rough. I gessoed my canvas, painted, sketched, and did it all again. Nothing worked. Nothing matched my expectations, or should I say, my reference photo. Yes, without much realizing I've been trapped in the realism spiral, where reproducing every single detail mattered more than letting go and freeing my art from my mind. I thought that mastering the techniques flawlessly, laying brush strokes perfectly, mixing the colors impeccably is the key to becoming a great artist. But I came to realize that it was a trap, a path that shut down my emotions and imagination, that literally tied my hands and made me give up on my art style. I chose perfectionism over expressionism. But guess what? Perfection is not attainable. And if you keep chasing it, you may lose yourself. This is how I realized that it's time for a change. Hi, my name is Zineb, and I'm here to document my journey. I faced an art block, been an inspired, held captive by perfectionism, and I just want to break free. I want to get out of my comfort zone to discover new techniques, learn from the masters, and uh, most importantly, I want to face my fears. And what I fear most is some paint and a canvas. I feel like using colored pencils for the past years literally took over me in such way that understanding a new medium is extremely hard. Whenever I try to paint on a canvas with oils or acrylics, I end up throwing it away and uh, taking back my sketchbook using watercolors and colored pencils. It's my way to get in my comfort zone, to feel secure and uh, in control. The first thing I had to do was to reorganize my workspace. The colored pencils on my desk were so close to me that grabbing them is easy and such a relief. So I'm moving them. And here they are, perfectly fine, yet far. Now that I'm left with a clean desk, I'm going to bring up all my brushes, paints, and canvases. I truly think that this proximity will help me commit to the painting and not be tempted to throw it away whenever things get rough. Here's a line art painting that matches the theme. And this is the final result. The second step for me was to journal. I am an overthinker and I like certainty and clarity. So I manage better my thoughts when they're written on a piece of paper, black on white. The purpose behind my journaling is simply to know what I want, what are my expectations, and what do I want to achieve through this journey. It's a self-discovery and an insightful experience that helps me list my objectives and how to better achieve them. It's also a way for me to be reflective and honest towards myself and regarding my choices. To better understand my emotions and what I would love to communicate through my art. So the first thing I came to realize through my journaling session is that I love portraits. As 
complicated and frustrating as they might be, at least for me. And also, I used to plan literally every single detail of my painting. Now, I just want to let my brush guide me through the process in the present moment without giving it extra thoughts. Also, I've been so focused on drawing realistic portraits with colored pencils that I totally forgot about all the existing artistic options that I could consider in my paintings and would make them different, unique, that would help me set my artistic style. This is how I decided to start experimenting more with colors, with the shapes, with styles, um, artistic movements, and so on. I knew that I needed to get inspired, to discover, to try, and to push through even if I feel like it's not worth it. So this is how I ended up making a list of potential artistic movements that I would love to try. For example, Impressionism, uh, Cubism, and Surrealism. A list of artist styles that I would love to replicate. For example, Klimt or Van Gogh or Dali. A list of uh, ideas, messages, and emotions that I feel like sharing from my own perspective. And most importantly, I decided to not get overwhelmed by the process. I'm not looking for perfection anymore. I know that nothing's gonna be perfect. So why bother? And now I'm making this experience from a free perspective with no chains around my wrists. I'm making it gradually, taking things step by step and started first by facing my biggest fear, which is the fear of oil paints. And maybe if you're curious to know how it went, make sure to watch the next episode. If you enjoyed this video and the new series, The Glow Up Journey of a Self-Thought Artist, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you faced too a deep art block or an uh, artistic existential crisis, let me know too about your experience and how you were able to overcome it. Because I feel like that when we share the issues, it becomes a lot more easier to persist them. Thank you so much again and have a great artistic day.